Shut up and sit down. And welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetup along with Matt Clancy. And the Hillers welcome the Millis Mohawks into the field house tonight. Millis coming in without a win. They are 0-12 overall and 0-11 in league play. Hopkinton still undefeated at 14-0. Uh, 14-0 no, overall, 12-0 in the league. They're sit, at they're sit atop first place in the Tri-Valley League. Should be uh, hopefully a, a competitive game tonight, Matt, but yeah, not sure. Yeah, we shall see. I'd like to see Hopkinson just take care of business here tonight. In three sets. So we're going to go down to the floor. It looks like uh, we are going to have an announcement before the anthem. Good evening. Welcome to Hopkinton High School for tonight's volleyball match as the Millis Mohawks take on your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. The Tri-Valley League and Hopkinton High School is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for competition. Please respect all officials, participants, coaches, fans, and opponents. Thank you for creating a positive environment. Now please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Back for set number one. That's just, we had a little audio difficulty there, but Mike Tarosian has put the fire out. So as we said, the Hillers coming in, first place in the TVL at 14-0. Overall, 12-0 in league play. So out there on the floor for the girls, we've got Ashley, Millie, Kate, Angie, Rachel, and Morgan. And out on the floor for Millis, we've got Melissa Kennelly, Julia Olmstead, Allie Stallings, Mahoney Sear, Jane Connors, and Mia Frizoko. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, and I missed, I missed Sam. Morgan. Morgan checks in as the libero. And Morgan will get the match underway. Nice hit there by Millie. Yep. And uh, Mike Tarosian just got a text from Millie's grandparents that they can hear us loud and clear down in Florida. So it's nice that Millie gets the first point of the night. Uh, hitting error from Millis. That was Olmstead into the net. Nice deep serve. Yeah, it was a Morgan. nice powerful serve by Morgan there. So Hopkinton is coming in off a three to one victory on Wednesday against Norwood. Girls had a little trouble in the third set, but they righted themselves in the fourth to preserve the undefeated season. Mills comes in their last game. There was a three zero loss to Ashland. Free ball, Sam settles under that. Rachel, back set, Grabmeyer, cross court. Nice put away from Ange. Yeah, Angie continuing her strong hitting percentage, now up to 371 on the year. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to see the percentage go up this late in the season. Grabmeyer to Lorette. Outside to Millie and to the net. Side out, Mohawks for Zoko back to serve. Sam gets to that. Rachel back set, Grabmeyer. Nice placement. We saw a lot of that the other night. Yep. The anger came out in the fourth set. <laughs> she was not a happy camper when the set came in. She was making sure that they were getting home with the win. Seven one, Hiller's in front here in the first set. Best of five. Grabmeyer, another knuckleball deep. Oh, nice hustle from yeah, Berenson. Yeah, almost a great save there by Berenson. Side out, Millis. Olmstead back to serve. Back set, Millie, cross court. Nice save from Millis. Berenson, Grabmeyer in the middle to McDermott. Good swing from Ashley. Yeah, Millis did do a nice job of keeping that point alive, but it wasn't enough. Anna Quinlan checking in for Millie. Anna goes back to serve. And Bub checking in for Sam. That's long. Oh, I think oh. they called a tip. Oh, I missed that. Wow. I was too busy following the ball. I wasn't looking at the ref. Angie, back. Oh, great swing from Mirabella. Yeah, that back line was wide open, and she saw that the whole way. Yep, Pellucci with the put away. That was very nice. Ashley McDermott 
back to serve. Hillary's in front by six points here in the first set. And Jean goes outside to Bub. There's the first Bub point. Hawkington looking good early here. And that's pushed wide. Oh, nice block. Sisteri with a nice block, but kept alive. A little confusion here. But Hillers worked through it. Yeah, nice dump in there by the Hillers. Yeah, Angie had to fight through some traffic to get to the set. Nice serve from Ashley. Hillers in front by 10. A little surprised there hasn't been a timeout called here. Yeah. I'm trying to slow down this momentum. Kate, Angie, back to Kate. Good swing. Nice point from Kate. Yeah, Hopkinton really doing a nice job of finding those openings on the court for these kills. Kate gets it to Angie. Back set. Mirabella just a little dump over. Millis had a double block there. Mirabella's approach was a little late, so she did the only thing she could, just tip it over. Allie Bennett checking in for the Mohawks. Double hit. And Millis continues to give away points here. And just they're having trouble getting the serve to the setter. And now we've got timeout called. Surprised it took this long. It's usually seven or eight mm -hmm. points. And that's what you know you're going to get with Hoppington. A lot of hard serves coming over that net. So while we've got a break in the action, just want to let everybody know that uh, a week from tonight is the annual Dig Pink event. Great fundraiser for cancer awareness. The girls have uh, numerous raffle baskets always some very fun items and it's for a great cause so we urge everybody to show up it's going to the that game will decide who wins the tri-valley league ashton's only got one loss and that was to hopkinton so it was it was an extremely competitive game in ashland's gym hopkinton won three to one but every set was very very close and that's also pep rally that day, so I think the girls may be a little tired come the game. So I'd like to see a nice full gym. Grabmeyer outside to Bub, put wow. away. <laughs> that was smooth the whole way. Yeah, Mills is just having trouble getting that the ball to the setter. Her passes are 
setters having to move all over the court to get to the ball. There's a good one. They go outside. And nice placement. That was a good hit from Ali Stallings. Great service run from Ashley McDermott, yeah. too. Morgan checks in for Ashley. Let's see what Mills can do with the serve back in hand. Mahoney Sear serving. Hannah gets to that. Angie in the middle to Sestari. Nice swing from Kate. Yeah, right now, Mills just does not have an answer for Hopkinton's power coming over the net. Rachel Lorette checks in. She'll go back to serve. Rachel will now be the setter. Angie moves to right side hitter. Just dumped over. Morgan gets to that. Rachel outside to Bub. Nice. Another Bub point. <laughs> she was just floating that one in. I don't think she was <coughs> anticipating to have use the net, but it worked to her advantage. Yeah, Rachel's got the third most points off service on the team. There's a free ball. Kate, Rachel, Grabmeyer. Nice arm nice bar. Saved by Millis. Yep. Oh, good wow. point. Nice deep kill there. Stallings with another good swing. And she'll go back to serve. Olmstead checks back in. Hiller's up by 16 here in the first set. Quinlan, Grabmeyer, Boyce. Bub's having a great set right now. Millie checks back in. Bub back to serve. Good serve. Another miscommunication there from the Mohawks. Two points away from ending set one. Yeah, the serves are handcuffing Millis. Mm -hmm. They're, they, they don't know whether to get under it and bump it or you come over. Set point. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was a great serve. I think, I think Bub thought that she had an ace there. Yeah. She was a little late moving up. Sam checks in for Bub. She was not expecting that to come back over the net. Morgan receives that. Rachel pushes outside. Millie puts it down the line. Millie's keeping it in play. Once again, Allen gets to it. Lorette in the middle of the Kate. Oh, mm, double hit. And that'll end the that first set. It. Hopkinson takes it 25 to 6. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. My name is Sarah. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love HM. I want to be a camp. We love HM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. And we're back for set number two as Hopkinton is taking on Millis here in the field house. Hopkinton fairly convincingly took that first set 25 to 6. Matt, what do you think of that first set? Yeah, a nice job by Hopkinton in the first set. Um, I think really the, the issue for Millis right now is, is the returning Hopkinton serves. Um, they got to figure out a way to get this ball back in play and get those balls to their hitters. But uh, when we look at kills and some stats from the, the first set, kills-wise, Caden Boyce had five, also known as Bub. 
Um, when it came to assists, Angie had eight. Rachel Lorette had six. And when it came to digs, Morgan Allen led the way with two. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got Kate Powers, Millie, and Angie. And the back line, we've got Ashley, Hannah, and Rachel. Morgan will check in for Ashley. And on the floor for Millis, we've got Mahoney Sear, Allie Stallings, Melissa Kennelly, Mia Frizzoco, Hadley McPhee, and Jane Connors. And looks like, is that Frizzoco that's going to get us going here? Yes. Underway. Morgan, Rachel, outside, Angie. <laughs> Down the line with authority. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Side out, Hopkinson, Grabmeyer back to serve. Great serve from Grabmeyer. Angie continues to lead the team with points off serves at 155 on the year. Good save. Just kept that inside the antenna. Nice put away from Cassie. Good dig. That's a great serve. And a hitting error on Sear. Emma, T Emma Tomlin checking in for the Mohawks. I think this is the, you know, in the, I think what, this is my. Seventh year calling these games and twelfth year coming to them with Emma playing. This is the best serving team I've seen. Yeah, the Hillers. They've, they've given teams trouble all year with their serving. That was a great oh. serve. That just that dipped as soon it as it did. came over the net. Hadley McPhee checking in for Millis. She's on, literally with her heels on the back line and then has to come up. Makes a nice dig. Another good serve. Tomlin couldn't handle that. And there's a nine-point timeout. More within what we're used to yes. seeing. <laughs> Quick start for Hopkinton here in the second set. And we talked about Dig Pink and then a uh, week from tonight. And then the following Monday is the last game of the regular season, which is senior night. Frontier Regional will come into town for an early start. Uh, it's a 5.30 game. And then the girls, they do a spaghetti dinner afterwards with, the, with Frontier. It's an annual event. 
It's always nice to see the seniors get recognized with their parents before the start of the game. So it's Millie Kate and Cassie up front, Hannah, Morgan, and Angie in the back row. It's Millis' first time out of this set. You get two timeouts per set. Tomlin. And they push that one wide. They were able to control that one a little bit better, but could not get it back into play. Uh, good save. Nice job by Millis to get that Kate. over. Angie, back to Powers. Nice put away. That service error for Angie, a rare occurrence. Very rare for her. Side out, Mohawks. Olmstead back to serve. Ten point lead for the Hillers here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set, 25 to 6. Nice save from Cassie. Just bumped over by Kate Powers. Good swing. Morgan gets to that. Angie back set. Cassie, save, nice play. Just block the net. Another good dig from the Mohawks. They're getting a little rhythm here. Oh, uh, a nice just point. Raises the net. Well earned point. From I was just going to say, very well earned point by the Mohawks. A couple of nice digs during that set. Millie gets to that. A little push over. Hannah, Angie, oh, that's going to go over. Not what she intended, but she'll <laughs> take it. She looks a little embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Sam checks in. And Mel's in as well. Berenson back to serve. A miss hit from Stallings. Service error from Sam, side out, Mohawks. Melissa Kennelly back to serve. Morgan, bump set. Wow, oh, great. great job by Millis. And unfortunately they push it wide. It was a good re reaction save. And there's Ashley McDermott spinning in. Kate Powers back to serve. Mm, double hit. 16 to three, Hillers in front. Kate had some power behind that one. Mm -hmm. Just a bit long. Morgan will check in for Kate. Nora Jurgowitz checks in. She'll go back to serve. 
Sam settles under that. Angie, jump set. Good swing from Mel. Oh, a power from that one. Yep. <laughs> that one came back at Hopkinton as fast as Mel hit it. Sixteen to four. Hillers in front here in the second set. Angie, back to Cassie. Cassie swung a little too hard on that one as well. Just was over the top of the ball. Millis doesn't have a lot of height at the net to block. Oh, there's a miscommunication in the back row there. Yeah. Dermot in the middle. Nice point from Ashley. Side out, Hillers. Cassie's going to check out. Rachel check in. She'll go back to serve. 11-point lead for the Hillers. Again, Millis just does not seem to know what to do with this serve coming over the net, whether to get under it or attack it. Oh, nice dying quail. Angie, outside. That was good a nice swing. set by Angie. Yep, Mel with a good hit. Oh, good arm bar from Mel. Rachel, bump set. Angie says, see ya. <laughs> Angie looking down the line a lot tonight. That was a great bump set from Rachel. Great block. Oh, just pushed it wide. Ashley and Angie were there for the double team. And they just pushed the block outside. Allie Stallings back to serve. Lorette, right. Grabmeyer. Mel, yeah. nice swing. That was a really nice cross court hit. Right on the line. Hannah checks in for Mel. Millie comes in for Sam. Hannah had a good serving game against Norwood. Oh, I thought Millie had that. She had perfect position. Yeah, she did. She was right there. Side out, Millis. Grabmeyer. There's just no stopping that. McDermott back to serve. Powers checks in. Allen departs. Ashley with the nice jump serve. serve. <laughs> Had a lot of topspin coming over the net. 23 to 9. Second set. Hopkinson took the first set. And service, service error there. Hopkinson's third in the sec second set. Ashley spins her way off the court. Morgan takes her place. For Zocco, for Zocco to serve. Quinlan gets to that. Lorette pushes it outside. Millie, nice swing. Another really nice set. 
Side out. Grabmeyer will go back to serve. Cassie will check in for Rachel. And we talked about this on Wednesday night, but Rachel's setting has just improved tremendously mm. this season. Hannah saves that. Bump set. Cassie just pushes that over. Morgan gets to it. Angie, back set. It was a little too far away for Cassie to do anything with that other than just to send it a little deep. And once again, miscommunication from Millis. And that'll take the, that ends the second set. Hopkinton took that 25 to 10. Girls are going to switch sides, and we'll be right back. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back for set number three here at the Fieldhouse as Hopkinton is playing Millis. Hopkinton just took that second set 25 to 10. A little bit more competitive there, Matt. Yeah, definitely a little bit more of a competitive set there. Millis made some great uh, diving plays to keep the ball in play, but Hopkinton just continues to show why they are the number three team in the state, taking care of business here. We take a look at some of the stats from the second set. Angie led the way with four kills, no surprise there. When it came to assists, she also had five, and Rachel Lorette had four. Uh, with Diggs, Morgan had two, and Hannah Quinlan had two as well. And you, as you said, Matt, Hopkinton right now is ranked number three in the state. They're number one in the central and western mass part of the state. But here's a quiz for you. Where does Hopkinton rank nationally? Ooh, nationally, wow. Yep. Ah. Uh, I would say maybe number 50? Oh, no. 336. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the um, out, out west in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the west coast and in the center, of, you know, in the Dallas and South Carolina, Florida, they've got some powerhouses. But they're, where these girls have played 14, 13 or 14 games right now, those high schools have already played 50 games. So it's uh, – a little different volleyball Very there. Very different. <laughs> so right now we've got Kate Sestari. we got Bub and Mirabella on the front with Rachel, Kate Powers, and Sam in the back row. And for the Mohawks up front, we've got Mia Frizzoco, Julia Olmstead. Melissa Kennelly in the back. We've got Jane Connors. Emma Tomlin and having trouble seeing the last number. I think it's Haley McPhee. I think it is. We'll go with that. We'll go with Haley McPhee. And so just just entering is Catherine Layton for Hopkinton, number five. She's just been called up today from the JV team. You won't see the seniors play this set. That's why you see him sitting down on the bench. Oh, no, it's Hannah Quinlan has put on the libero shirt. I thought it was Catherine Layton coming out. She's not here yet, not on the floor. But she'll be wearing number one. So Hannah just put on the her green number five. So she's taking the libero position from Morgan. Nice play from Mirabella. <laughs> it was a tough set, but she still got it over. and. Dropped in. Oh, 
Millie checks in. Bub back to serve. And a miss hit from Olmstead. Yeah, Frizoko got in her way a little bit there. Bob, Rachel, Pellucci. Absolutely beautiful kill there by Pellucci. Tomlin, a uh, little miss hit. Yeah, and they're just getting in each other's way here when they're trying to get this ball back over. Good eyes from Bub. Substitution here. Stallings checks in. Kate Sestari, wow. great placement. Great placement to the from Kate. Back right corner of the net. Excellent placement of the court. Excuse me. Good serve from Bub, that handcuffed Connors. And nice swing yeah. there from Kennelly. Came in uh, hot and high and Bub couldn't handle it. Side out, Mohawks. Homestead to serve. Oh, great save from Couple Rachel. Couple hillers die on, on the floor there. Great hustle from Lorette. Quinlan, Lorette. Pellucci again. It's another great kill by Pellucci here in yeah. this set. Her approach has just been perfect. Yeah, timing's been great. Chistari back to serve. And that she did, unfortunately long. Hannah checks in. And a service error from the Mohawks. And there's Catherine Layton checking in. She's going to be the setter now. Sophomore pulled up from JV. Nice serve, gets an ace on her first varsity serve. It's great to see her getting in there tonight. Another good serve. Hopkinson in front here by seven in the third set. Hillers took the first two sets. And Millie with a little put back. 
there's the timeout from Millis. Yep. It was the, uh, didn't quite make the, uh, the nine point, <laughs> went to eight points this time. Girls aren't it as, uh, as flat footed as they were Wednesday. They just, they seemed a little out of sync after the first two sets. But yeah. They're definitely a little bit more focused tonight for sure. Yeah, I, I was wondering if we talked about this Wednesday, if it was, you could attribute some of that laziness or lethargy was just due to playing so many matches on mm -hmm. Columbus Day in the tournament. But it'll get them battle hardened for the playoffs. Service error from Catherine. Nice little service run though for her. Oh, good save from the Mohawks. Bub to lighten. Oh, oh, Kat. oh, I thought Kate had that. There we go. Nice block by Kate at the net. She made a great play, but yeah. Millis made just as nice a play to get there. Kate's got 21 blocks on the year, leading the team. Mel Gilday checks in. Millie serving. Rotation violation huh. on the Hillers. I'm not sure whether that was on. She was pointing at Cassie. And I didn't see how Cassie could have been out of the rotation. Sat out, Mohawks. Stalling serving. Nice set from Catherine. That's a great read. Yep, they had the double block going. Mel just pushed it over the top. And we'd like to thank the rest of the HCAM crew here with us tonight. It's a full crew again. Bob Hamilton and John Ritz down on the floor. Mary Arnott up here in the crow's nest keeping Matt and I company. And Samantha Dings doing graphics and Tom Dings directing us. And Mike Terosian did fix our audio problems, and then he went home. But I'm sure he's watching us and listening right now. Nice play Another from, great read. from Mel. She's just floating it over that double block. Rachel Lorette checks in for Cassie, and Mirabella will come in for Catherine. Great serve from Rachel. <laughs> Ten point lead for the Hillers. And earlier tonight, JV1 and JV2 teams each won 2 0. So Hopkinton looking to make it a clean sweep against Millis. This would be the only time they play Millis. Millis in the small school section of the TVL, so they've opted out of the second meeting. Lorette with another good serve. Millis handles it this time. Well, 
And double hit. They, they got it to the setter, yeah. but the setter had the mishandle. Well, Rachel's got a very nice service run going now. That's out. Good eyes from Hannah. Good save from Millis. Rachel outside. Nice swing from Mel. Hopkinton well in control here in the third set. Zoko checks in for Millis. 22 to 7. And that's out again. Really nice service run here from Rachel. And we are at match point. Yeah. Hannah, Rachel, outside, Pellucci, point. Nice game. way to finish. So Hopkinton takes the third set, 25 to seven for a 3-0 sweep of Millis. Good game, Matt. Yeah, really good game. You know, after going to four sets the other night against Norwood, really nice to see the Hillers come out, take it in three against the Mohawks tonight. Yep. So the girls' next game is uh, next Wednesday at home as the Holliston Panthers come into the field house. So for, for Matt Clancy, this is Steve Sweetapple and the rest of the HCAM crew. We'll see you then.